All right, I'm back in the building section. Had the pleasure of having uh, Wilman in here yesterday. Got everyone uh, a little bit excited about the board, so I thought I'd show you a little bit more detail on them. So this one that we looked at yesterday, um, this is when the whole house runs back to one board. So we end up with a much bigger panel. And what we have here is, this is still a pretty big house, but we had to split the board in sections because the house basically is one house here with like a bridge and then another house. So we've sort of gone with two boards here, broken in half, but we keep the we keep it the same sort of setup. So essentially what we have is a main isolator here, just isolates the whole board. We always put our K and X, which includes all the switches and the sensors on its own circuit. That way, if just say like something something, one of these blinds trips a circuit, we only lose those blinds, but we keep all of our K and X, which means all of our board gear keeps running, all of our switches in the house keep functioning. And then we just know that basically the fault relates to this. And the reason that we know that is because just the way that we decided to wire our boards is that there's a circuit and circuit protection basically for each thing. So daily line number one, daily line number two, that's two separate circuits. Uh, floor heating, that's either one or two, depending on the load of the floor heating circuits. Then we have blind one, blind two, relay one. And sometimes we need to split that up a little bit as well. So that's sort of how these boards work. Uh, and then as we discussed yesterday, we go, we have all the control wiring runs down to our terminals. This will go inside a metal enclosure and then that'll get delivered to site basically as a product. And then these site electricians will bring their cables in the bottom or they can come in the top, but usually in the bottom and then they'll feed them around and just wire straight into the terminals. They're all ready to go. So we've got uh, the outputs are here. So the switched outputs, these are all our join neutrals. We can, we can just bridge all those because they all run up to a dedicated circuit. And then we've just got our bridged earth terminals as well. Okay, so a little bit about Dali. Dali seems like a bit of a mystical science to, to a lot of people that aren't used to it, but once you discover the benefits of Dali, it's really worth getting into. Um, the main reasons are, so you can basically, you can wire lighting around the whole house, and then you can decide with programming how you group those lights. So as an example, you might have like six downlights in a room, and if you, in a normal situation, you'd run one cable out and loop it around, that's how you're stuck like that forever. Um, if you decided that you wanted to split it into two halves because you like to light one side of the room and, and have the other a bit more dull or vice versa, you can just change that with programming and update that on the switches and uh, bits and pieces like that. So essentially the way Dali works is we run a dedicated active neutral earth out to all the lights. They're just permanently on like they're plugged into a power point. Then the communication happens through this Dali line. So this is a, this here is an ABB uh, dual Dali gateway. So we've got Dali line number one and Dali line number two. This runs around, so this can do up to 64 fittings or 16 groups, whatever ceiling you hit first. And that's a really important thing to remember when you're designing a Dali system, you've got to really think about that before you start wiring and be like, all right, if I get to around 50 lights, I probably need to start a new line. And then you've got to be very careful if you're doing maybe like an office block or a section of a house where there's lots of bedrooms, you could potentially hit those 16 groups first because Anything with more than one light is a group. Um, so yeah, that's that's the benefits of it. And from a lighting point of view, completely eliminates the flickering of LEDs. When you're phase cutting lights, which is like your standard way of dimming the rotary knobs on the wall, um, essentially the way I explain it to, to customers in the showroom usually is it's like you're choking the voltage. You're basically just cutting it before it gets to the light. It's a bit of a dirty way to do it. We like to keep it clean here at Rilek, so. Dali's the way to go. You're digitally dimming on the load side of the driver and you've got permanent 240 volts at the driver. So flicker free, flexibility, how do you go wrong? Okay, so I'm just logged in here to the Dali configuration software. So this software here allows us to connect to the Dali controllers anywhere in the world. So I'm, I'm currently in the office at the moment, but logged into a job about an hour away. And the beauty of this is we can scan up all the light fittings that are on the Dali network. We can program them and we can generally program them while the house is being fit off. And nine times out of 10, not every single light will get fit off and little ones will need to be added in as they go. So, you know, that, that stops us needing to roll a truck to site just to go and program two light fittings. We can, we can basically just log in. We can actually use this tool so we can select a light. And you can see here, I've, I've hovered over this light and one of them's gone blue in the group over here. So, and if you hover over the group, you can see what they are. If I scanned up, 
and there was a new fitting, they'd just pop up here as new ones. You can click on it. On site, that would actually physically flash the light. And the electrician can just say, yeah, that's in the master bedroom over near the wardrobe. And then I could just click this light and I could drag it into the group. So pretty much that's all you're doing with Dali is just organizing the groups. So you're finding the individual lights and you're mapping them to groups. And then from there on the KNX end, we can either control an individual light fitting or we can control a whole group. Um, so yeah, that's super handy for us. There's output A. We can go over to output B, which is our two Dali lines. And yeah, this software is super powerful because we can do most of our work from the office, which is great. Let me know what you think and let me know if you have any questions.